Okay, guys, I've got side-by-side -side Graphene OS and Calyx OS, and I've installed a few apps on here that I've both bought, and one that is, well, mostly games. Just kind of like testing the game stuff, because most of the stuff on Calyx OS it seems to work. And being as Graphene OS has Google Play services installed, I did get that working finally. So if I go into like the apps here, you can see I've got my Google Play services installed. It sandboxes all that. If I look in here, you can see Google Sa Sandbox Google Play services is running. We've got no Google Sync going on whatsoever or things in the background right now. So notifications sort of work, but not quite. So we're just going to kind of go through, and I think the first one I want to mess with is Infectinator. So what Infectinator is, is it's a free game pretty much that, oh, about infecting the world. So I can go start, new game. Uh, go. Let's switch this over like this. Okay. So yeah, see, it runs pretty well. Okay, so yeah, you can see that that seems to work pretty well. I can let us close out of that real quick. Okay, so these next few I have licensed on it. So I've got like Doom and Destiny Advanced that I've picked up otherwise. So if we look here, we can see that up here on graphene, it seems to have... So it needs play games, install... Not now. So it's going to do that. And let's install, install play games... So it's going to require that, it looks like. So I can go into here and select that one. So while that one installs games, this one is going to do something and sit here and look at us funny, it looks like. So again, Calyx OS is running on Micro G, and so it's debatable whether it's going to work out well. Let's try that again on Calyx. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into here. I'm going to install the Google Play Games app. Going to remove that from there. <clears throat> and so this 
so far is doing nothing. Whereas Calyx up here with the Google Play services, like right in the background, seems to like to work just fine. Okay, so again, I've got that game on like multiple places, or a couple different places, but, so next, what we will do, so yeah, install Google Place there, um, let's try everyone's favorite, Minecraft. We will keep it from sending notifications, Calyx OS is running up pretty quickly. Um, they are different hardware, so... You know, um, maybe later, maybe later. Okay, so yeah, so far Minecraft is Minecrafty. So, so the reason for using graphene is kind of as a control to see how functional. Micro G is on its own with a lot of games because they did implement a oh, a license verification for Micro G to allow some games to basically go through and verify with Google Play that like you did indeed buy the game and that yeah you are legit. So, sadly enough, it doesn't seem like that one works out too well. So, let's go with an old favorite, KOTOR. So, it seems KOTOR 2 has stopped working on Calyx. Um... Let us go in just for fun. It doesn't seem to be requesting any permissions. So if we go back in, let's go to try play games. Okay, so KOTOR 2 works fine on graphing, obviously. Don't allow... Let's actually try Doom and Destiny again. Okay, that one doesn't want to work out. Okay, so I wonder, is it something with, or is it firewall? So all of that's allowed. Oh, 
Okay, so we can go new game and it lets us go through the process there on graphene. Um, let's see, let's try one of the quest games. We can actually do it in proper portrait this time around. Let's go with pre-gen character. So this one um, for a little bit required Google Play to like get started. And so Google, Micro G on Calyx has done better and so you're able to pull it up here. The one downside I did see is when I was trying to install, so if I go back in to here, I've got the base, the quest on here and for whatever reason, oh, it would not install onto the Pixel here. So I don't know if that has something to do with the version of Android or what, but it said, like, it wasn't available. So there was that, which was a downside. But for the most part, anything that seems to be installed that way does seem to work fine on it. So I think, let's check on this, yep, that's mostly nothing. Okay, so that's kind of a side-by-side -side comparison, so depending on the kind of functionality that you want, if you want to be able to actually play proper KOTOR and things like that, then this is probably your way to go is Graphene OS. It sandboxes Google Play, but it does preserve that convenience of having everything, unlike Micro G. So if I go into, let's go up to, where is it? Micro G settings. So we've got the self-check and Play Store services. We are not handing bill handling billing requests, but we do answer license verification requests. Um, so I, whenever I tap something that I want to install and buy, per se, in Aurora Store, it won't work, or it shouldn't. Let's see, Google Safety Net, self-check. So yeah, that's a lot of the stuff in there. Again, not everything seems to like to work, so, like, if I go back into here, we can see that it repeatedly does the whole, like, crashing thing. And we can go mobile app and data usage. We can do unrestricted. Um, then we can try and go back in. And go do this. And it's still going to air out on us like that. We can go back into Doom and Destiny. Still nothing. And so yeah. So that's the downside you're looking at with Calyx. Is like some of the things that you may want to play may not necessarily work until they figure out getting more of that functionality implemented into it. And in a lot of ways, that does limit the data that Google receives because of Micro-G. And then, of course, Graphene is going to sandbox your Google Play services and not give it straight up. But you are also installing the default Google Play services straight from the get-go. But you can do things like play KOTOR. So, whichever upside or downside you are looking for, you have options, but at the same time, it, how do I put it, you, you give more or less data depending, and it could be different. I haven't quite looked at Graphene OS's backing, but again, this is like yesterday I just installed Graphene on here, 
and I will be working on a comparison per se of it, but it looks like when it comes to Google Play stuff, it's going to be way more functional. So you can see so far I've installed a few apps on here, and from like Droidify, and then from the Google Play Store, obviously. So even installing Play Games on to Calyx seems to have like sandboxed it really heavily between the apps. So yeah, you're not quite going to get that Google Play popping up like you will in here. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description, Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one.